Well, I was just, I would love, I know you have a tool to share for, yeah. for dream work too. So I'm like on the edge of my seat waiting for the, no, I know. Um, <laughs> I am, I am. But you know that about me already. Yeah. What have you talked to us about, you know, working with our dreams as individuals? Yeah. So there's a lot of ways you can work with your dreams from an individual perspective. But one thing to talk about for this year, right, is how can you turn to your dreams for insight, for healing, for solace, for wayfinding mm. through this Jupiter Pluto conjunction, right? So, again, if this year brings all of us some really deep connections to profound feelings, okay, how can we use our dreams to go into that? So, tell us what we can do, you know, to actually tap into this. Uh, tap into our dreams. Yeah. yeah. How? So, you know, again, the fact that we will be closer to these deep feelings, right? And those feelings that, again, we may not have wanted to open to in our waking consciousness. And they will come through our dreams. So one of the things that you can do, knowing that your dreams will be really revealing from this perspective, from these Jupiter, Pluto, and Capricorn themes of, you know, radical transformation, of structures that are not even dissolving, being ripped apart for regrowth. Right. Right? For the facing of emotions or truths or thoughts that we have kept at bay, right, is through turning to your dream. So there's this really wonderful exercise called dream incubation. Mm -hmm. And it's basically, have we talked about this so far? I don't think we have, no. So in dream incubation, in this part of dream incubation, what you're doing is you're asking your dreams. In your conscious mind, you're communicating with the part of your mind that dreams and asking it for insight. Uh So you're seeding your dreams intentionally. Mm. So what you would do is say, and I'm going to give examples of how to work with this in Jupiter and Pluto, but just in terms of how the technique works, is you think about what it is that you want your dreams to reveal. You know, it could be something like, you know, show me an archetype of Jupiter, Pluto, or it can be, I'm working through this instances of jealousy Mm -hmm. or unempowerment or, you know, finding the faith to surrender, whatever it may be, right? You think about what's really coming up for you in your life. You focus on that theme. And then as you're going to bed, you, 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 what you're doing is you want to frame a very simple question to your psyche. Now, mm. you don't want this question to say, dream, tell me about X and Y and Z. And, because then when you get your dream in the morning, you, you will be like, which part did that answer, right? We ah. want it very Capricorn, very like on point and very simple. Specific and very simple, specific. okay. So you may ask your dream something about, um, give me an example of something that somebody could be moving um, uh, What do I need to know for my love life? Great. And, you know, what do I need to shift within myself to find love? Perfect. So you ask, and, and you really, in a very um, thoughtful way, you ask that to yourself, right? You could say it to yourself. You could say, dream, please show me. You know, dream, please reveal. And then again, very simply. Now, to really focus this and emphasize this, what you can do is you can write the question in your dream journal. Uh Right? Because oftentimes, too, when I've done this before, too, I do dream incubation. I don't write it down. I wake up in the morning. I have this dream. And I'm like, wait, what was it that I wanted to know? Right? So you you write it down. It could also, if you really want to focus on even more emphasizing sort of the connection, you might have something either in your dream altar or your nightstand that reminds you of it. Uh-huh. You know, let's just say that it's about a creative project that you're working on or a relationship with somebody, you right? You bring a picture exactly. or a supply or something. Exactly. And you <coughs> look at that before you go to sleep. Right? Mm-hmm. So you're setting, it's all about Triggering intention. Triggering your unconscious and subconscious. It's almost like you're at, you're doing a tarot read. Your subconscious is giving you a... A tarot exactly. card. Uh, <laughs> Very, exactly. Exactly. You know, so because you're like, you're, you're honing that intention and you are honoring the weaving together relationship between all of the parts of your mind. Mm. Now, the thing too is that where this is also has another benefit is that the research has shown that people who 
have confidence that they remember that they dream and that they remember their dream and revere the value of their dream, we actually remember their dreams more.